Hello, everybody. My name is Jamil Henriquez, and welcome to Purgatory Magic. Today is a very special day because today is Good Friday, or Viernes Santo. And it's an interesting and special day because today is the day where Maria Celestina became the Anima Sola. And we're going to talk about that, okay? I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to everybody who's been supporting this channel, Purgatory Magic. Um, I really appreciate all the love that I've been getting because, like I said, this is just not my channel. This is a channel for devotees. This is a channel for anybody who wants to learn about the Anima Sola and the practices of the Anima Sola and the Anima Bendita del Purgatorio in Latin America and I want to give a big shout out just to everybody and a big thank you for everybody who's been supporting the channel so today's topic is going to be about the history of the anima sola and I'm going to throw in a little extra bonus for those who might not be familiar on what happens on these days like Viernes Santo okay so let us begin. Today is the day that the Anima Sola became the Anima Sola. Why? Because the history of the Anima Sola was is that she was considered was to be a, the, a pious woman of Jerusalem, right? Her task was to basically give water to the prisoners or those who were condemned um, to punishment and give them water whenever it was needed for them to receive water, okay? So what happened was is that when Maria Celestina went up um, Mount Carmel or the hill of Mark Carmel, right? She gave water to Hestas and Dimas. But when it was time for her to give water to Jesus, because of the pressure that she was feeling, because of everybody at that moment was going up against Jesus, they wanted him crucified. A lot of people just um, wanted to get rid of him, right? The, the Pharisees, the Romans... Everybody was just like, we're done with this guy, okay? So all of that pressure was on her, so she denied Jesus' water. Now, this story right here takes many turns because depending on the devotee, they're going to tell you a different, um, they're going to tell you a different story, okay? Now, I'm not saying that the story that I'm saying is the whole truth, but it's how I was taught and it's what makes sense to me. The reason why the Anima Sola was condemned to purgatory because of her act of not giving Jesus water or denying him water. How it was told to me was is that Archangel Michael or Saint Michael struck her with lightning and basically made her, just burned her, just turned her into ashes. And from there, she was shackled by Archangel Michael and placed in purgatory or in that dark cell, surrounded in fire. I'm going to get into a further video later on in regards to the symbolism behind the Anima Sola. But this is just to basically not to overcomplicate things, but this is what this is how it was explained to me what happened. She gave Hestas and Dimas water, but because of the pressure that she was feeling from the people that that um that were there at that moment witnessing everything, she denied Jesus water and she was struck by Archangel Michael and placed in purgatory until judgment day. Because 
some people say she was placed in purgatory for eternity, but <clears throat> if you're placed in purgatory for eternity, then it defeats the purpose of being in purgatory because purgatory is to purge yourself so that you can enter heaven. So that's another topic. But now that she is in purgatory, she's been in purgatory, she is now making up for that um, for that sin that she committed. And when we're working with the anima sola, devotees of the anima sola have to um, know the importance of Archangel Michael. And I've explained this in many, um, in many lives that Archangel Michael is like the, the, the doorman of purgatory. Yes. Everybody knows Archangel Michael to be the defender um, to you know to overcome to overcome the dragon or the serpent or the beast we get that but Archangel Michael also is someone who stands as a judge right that's why he holds the balance in his hand to see who's staying in purgatory and who's leaving purgatory so when we go to the anima sola, we have to always pay homage and pay respects to Archangel, first God, the Holy Trinity, Archangel Michael, and then the anima sola, because he serves as that amparo, but he also serves as the door to purgatory, okay? So, that's a basic, it's like a very simple story of the anima sola like i said these are oral traditions i've heard many stories different stories um, i've heard that it was the woman who um on his way to the cross there was a woman who had disrespected him and denied him stuff and she was the one who was sent in purgatory and she was a witch i've heard many other stories and like i said they're not wrong to each his own but to me this one is the one that makes the most sense okay now what is Good Friday? On this day, right? It is said that the nature of people truly came out. When I when I read the stories of, of, of what happened on this day, and even like folk stories or oral, oral traditions that revolve around different personalities in um on this day, right? On Good Friday, on this happening where Jesus was crucified. A lot of people's nature was really coming out. So there was a lot of judgment being placed around humanity at this moment. So when we see that, a lot of our ancestors took this day to be a day to seek revenge against those who have committed injustice to us. Or those who have we haven't forgotten about that, we still have that little thorn stuck in there, right? Because they say in Latin America, this is the best day to do witchcraft because the devil is roaming. There's dark spirits everywhere, right? So, on this day, it's always recommended that we work with spirits that like in, in, in many parts of Latin America that really don't have that um, type of, you know, rules about the church on them. And we work with other spirits and other beings to kind of counteract that type of witchcraft, you know? So today's a good day to, you know, be aware and cleanse the home you know, purify the home, make sure that um, there's no negative energy that's been sent your way. You know, even me, um, yesterday, Thursday, I actually cleansed the home. I cleansed the home with plants. I smoked out the home. I blessed the home with um, with colonia, with um, with holy water. I did, I did my work. Because I know that on this day, people are people are throwing witchcraft. So I just want you guys to really 
take that into consideration. If you can't do it on this day, then do it any day, even Saturday or Sunday or even Monday, you know, but try to cleanse your home and try to like make sure that there's that there's no negativity roaming around there because a lot of the times we as um as people we tend to believe that we don't have people who might you know who might not do these things towards us but you know what they are and it's good to always make sure that we're on the up and up with our spiritual hygiene and protections okay so that's my little advice for today. Next year, if you want to use this again, you can use this again. All right. Usually, it's been a week of cleanse, of cleanse, of clean cleansing. Okay. Now, also, usually on this week, right, the altar to the anima sola is covered in white, meaning that there's no work that is done for her. And my altar right now is covered in white, all right? So, um, usually many of the devotees of the Anima Sola will cover the altar in white or put like a white veil to just let, to, to, to let the spirits be at rest because during this time is, is what we call in Spanish tiempo de reposo or that the spirits are not here, that they're back where they are you know, regaining their strength, regaining their light. Basically, they're doing their thing, okay? So this, these times are very important times where many don't approach these spirits and many people cover their saints in white, um, in white sheets and they don't mess with them. Sorry about that. So yeah, um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in i want to thank everybody for um checking out purgatory magic on youtube um if you want to book a reading with me you could go to my um, page purgatorymagic.com and schedule your reading if you want to know more about um the anima sola you could go to my website there's blogs here there will be a blog written about this topic as well in there and if you want to know more about the anima sola and you want to check out my lives you could go to Instagram at purgatory magic underscore. I mean, sorry, at purgatory underscore magic. Okay. You could also go to my Facebook. If you like Facebook, I have a page there called Anima Sola. You will see the picture of the Anima Sola there. And underneath it, you'll see that it says purgatorymagic.com. That's my page um, for her. And, um, and yeah, just um, like and subscribe. Um share this video with everybody, you know, and thank you very much. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I hope you have a beautiful Easter and have a beautiful and safe week. Okay. Love everybody. Have a beautiful night.